these past 10 weeks or so I've been nothing but you know being productive and when I mean productive I don't mean you know always doing my work and writing and reading but I also you know had to like relax and tone myself down stabilize myself revolve revolve around homeostasis and then revert and go into the attacking ground when it comes to my academic work and etc right but you know in my free time I kind of got into this new series and um, it was only 12 episodes long so I managed to binge watch it until the very end and you know I liked it and the show is called Erased I mean that's the English that's the English title but it's a uh, long name is Boko Dake ga Inai Maki or Machi I probably butchered that but you know um, I, I think that's what it says anyways um, Let's see, it's written by Ki Sarebi. Man, I'm gonna butcher these names, but um, ultimately I think, you know, this show is a lot similar towards uh, what I was watching ReZero prior, just with the whole, um, uh, just with the whole concept of time and re going reverting back into time and trying to change the outcome of your situations. Um, so the main protagonist, Sotaro Fujinuma, he has the power to go back into time. He has, at first, he has the expansion of five seconds, so he's able to predict or see into the future what happens in five seconds time and be able to fix it. But then out of nowhere, he's able to go back in time because um, his own mother, which I think is, um, let's see, uh, his mom. Who is his mom? There's so many characters, I, I swear. Um, she's a main character. Oh, it's uh sashiko sashiko fujinuma so his own mom reminds him that there was abductions when he was a kid and um like during when he was in fifth grade so he um the very next day he manages to be a, a 10 like a 10 years old again and he, um he kind of like relives his childhood i guess and um you know he kind of like goes around the story and i don't want to spoil it even though it's only 12 episodes I like the direction that they went once i mean it was kind of eerie the first two episodes three you know it only got i got hooked on or like around like the sixth episode i mean it took a while for me to actually get engaged and that's the thing about anime sometimes like um it's very hard to like get one that you like but then once you're hooked you know it's it's, it's the wild pack of the emotion then you start like you know um you start enjoying the show i don't know if like you can enjoy a show off the bat like and get involved with the characters and like you know kind of like uh see their perspectives and kind of like you know root for them you know like, you know you're trying to root for the protagonist here but um it's it's very short 12 episodes long so you'll be over it like within a day so like tops eight six hours if you're like you know not multitasking or you don't get you know you wander doing other miscellaneous or like uh, yeah, of course. I get off guard at all the damn time. But, um, as things goes, you know, um, the writing was was really good. I mean, it's kind of like anxious inducing. It is a mystery. It is a mystery show. So, that's, you know, they, the formula is kind of like, you know, they got it right. Um, but I think, you know, I. I think Sator in the beginning, he was initially very depressed. I mean, he is a 29 year old and has no direction in life. But little does he know that, you know, he kind of like um, feels like there's no direction and, you know, semi depressed. But then his mom like reminds him what made him feel that way. So, and everything that he's trying to relive in the past, he's trying to figure it out whether he's actually able to change it or um, there's no impact and everything that he does is just his memory being replayed back. So there's that kind of like dichotomy of like direction of like what's going on. Is this what I feel is real? And you know, I think for the most part, memories are very, um, are apart from vague, they're very um, misleading. And, and we have a perception of like not actually remembering the, the events that actually happened. So um, I think the story does a great on that part of like the psychology of the of memories and like you know the sequence of time and 
you know, the music's great, the acting's, like I said, it was great. I mean, the villain, the antagonist, you just want to punch him in the face. But, you know, it's just dangerous, and, you know, it has that eerie feeling. Throughout the series, you have that sense of uh, dread on you. And it's not lighthearted or anything, you know, you know it, it does talk into, like, dark topics and, like, you know, like, you know, real-life subject matters. So the direction that they went with that, you know, it's kind of a really cool that, you know, they, not cool, but like, you know, it's just like, you know, impactful, it, impactful for the direction that they went. And, you know, you, you realize that, you know, um, the females that changed his life one way or another do have a, a big impact on the main protagonist without him realizing it, you know, but it's interesting because there's this one moment where he's an adult and he goes back to his child body but he still has the recollections of his him being an adult but halfway through the series it becomes the exact opposite where where um he's in his adult body but still has the child of his mind he still has the, the mind of his child so it's interesting um dichotomy interesting split that they did there at the very end but regardless you know i think the, the the writer, the author of this, of this manga slash, you know, anime did a, a really great job. I mean, for it being short, you know, it, it definitely packs a punch. So they're trying to, so the, the whole premise of the story is that they're trying to like, um, you know. So, oh my God. So through the premise of what I've been saying previously, you kind of already assume who is already the kidnapper and like, it's no surprise. I mean, if you actually check on what's going on throughout the story, you're going to figure it out who it is. I mean, they, the clues are right there, like throughout the whole series. So it's not much of a surprise. So, you know, you would be kind of a dance in the head if you couldn't figure it out. But I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You're not dense. But, uh... Um, regardless, you know, it has that mystery aspect of, like, who could it be, and, like, uh, who the murderer is, and who's kidnapping all these little girls, because it's not a, it's, 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 it's not a, a light-hearted story, if anything, it's dark and twisted, and, you know, it's up to the kids to find out who's a, who this murderer is, who this kidnapper, and, you know, it goes, it dives deep. Deep di it dives deep into the, psycho the psychology of like of an individual and like you know at the very end you know he starts questioning like like his aspects of life I don't know it got really confusing at the very end of the story where um, I don't want to spoil it so I can't really talk about it well who cares like you know let, let, let's, this is spoiler alert so uh, when Satoru is speaking to uh, is it Yashido? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's Yashido. So, like, you know, at the very end, we find out that Yashiro is the guy that's, like, kidnapping and, like, you know, killing these little girls. And then, like, it's crazy because this was, like, the closest thing that, um, that Satoru had as a father figure because, you know, he was very nice to him in the beginning and, like, you know, always giving him advice. And then, like, you know, he figures out that he's the, he's the antagonist of the story, so... It, it kind of like flips his whole like perception of things, but he already had it. Like here he knew. So, um, if, does that make sense? I mean, overall, like you know, you you meet his his friends when they were like in, uh, child. Like he meet you meet his childhood friends, and they like each one, and then like has like their own individuality. Like especially June. Um, June is like you know the innocent kid, and like got involved in like like he got um arrested because they thought that he was like you know uh the killer was pedophilic tendencies and like getting all these little girls and try and killing them up but it was actually like you know the teacher so that was that was very interesting and then let's see so the whole story is about you know satoru trying to like go back and like rescue all his classmates and he inevitably does I mean they grow up and um, you know you see he sees them fully grown and you know he gets stuck in a coma so that's interesting you know 
that they decided to go in that direction. But overall, you know, just on on like the style of like the whole like anime series and like you know, it was just intense throughout the whole story. So you know, like you're gonna like it if you watch it. I mean, it's only twelve episodes long, so. Um, you know, I think every character had an impact on him when as he was growing up, and then he kind of relives it, and you know, he tries his best to change outcomes, and that's the biggest uh, deciding factor about the series or about the, the the show. Like, is he really changing it, or is he just reliving something? But um, yeah, so not bad. I mean, you know, it's a solid. I give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. Just because, like, you know, I'm I'm not the best person to be watching shows, but, you know, as far as things goes, you know, it's not that bad. It's pretty good, actually. It's like, you know, I don't even go on the negative. It's not that bad. It's, it's pretty good. So, that was all my own personal critique. I mean, pretty good show. So, yeah. Um, it's just the whole, like, you know, sometimes just remembering all the names <laughs> gets to me. Alright, guys. So, that's it for today. Peace out.